Hello and welcome back. Today we are continuing our run in Victoria 3 as Armenia, and we noticed something that's a little bit alarming. Our GDP is going up, well that's okay, but it's starting to get close to Russia, who's currently our overlord, who are stagnating. And my understanding of the way the mechanic works is as soon as we get stronger than them, it is going to boot us out of their market. We, they can, are no longer eligible to be a protectorate once our economy eclipses theirs. So what we will be doing is we will be kind of trying to uh, preempt that situation and make sure that we can kind of function on our own a little bit. They're domineering anyways, and so getting out of their market will be okay, but we will have to expand a lot of the rural stuff that we have going on in our colonies as much as possible. So this is kind of what we'll be doing today. We of course want them to specialize because the throughput bonus on arable land, um, economies of scale, and so we will be expanding these quite a bit. We will need some cotton somewhere. Or I guess we could use just livestock ranches for our fabric. But we will need fabric, we will need grain. Uruguay wishes to enter an alliance? I don't think so. And this is kind of where we'll be going. Uh, on a more macro perspective, what we have been doing is we've been kind of, you know, uh, carefully balancing our um, interest groups, uh, what is it, clout, trying to get as many at 18% as possible. This is the goal of the run, to have five groups at 18%, um, at which point they give you the larger bonus and also have them all be happy, which is kind of a weird objective. It's, you know, one that doesn't require us expanding a whole lot of memeing or whatever. Um, now we are running a ton of shortages. I think it's all on explosives, yeah. Um, we will handle that in a little bit. But what I wanted to do here was expand the wheat farms quite a bit, because we will want to have some domestic wheat by the time we get uh, going. We do need a couple rails there. And you are running out of engines, and our engine place is not employing, so this is a bit of a weird problem that, like, is difficult to solve. We are building more chem plants to support the boom booms. We are building more of these, but notice they're not employing anyways, and so... Tough. Maybe if we get electric engines, they would be profitable enough to employ. Um, but even running a shortage, they're not employing, which is, like, a weird situation. Also, we have the same situation with electricity, where, you know, we have room for more employment. But this is on the back of the engines. But why aren't the engines employing here? You know, uh, it will tell us that these PMs make more money but they really don't because labor is expensive uh, in this place, which is kind of why. We even have it on privately owned and we would keep it there to try and solve this problem to make it more profitable, but uh, they still won't employ here despite there being a shortage. I guess we could try and bring down the price of steel, right? Um, you know, you just keep going down the chain, but the steel is not employing either uh, or not getting fully employed. And the thing is, is, these are just so, so efficient that these get employed first, why we've taken them off of auto expand, so we will no longer be expanding them, clothes especially. And so, yeah. We are still siphoning off pops from their market. Oh, I didn't even realize what got researched here. Steam Donkey would be kind of nice. It is not spreading to us. Let's do this to try and get the steel mills better, to try and get the engines better. Um, this is a bit of a problem. We have quite a lot in the queue right now. We are making some money, which is nice. The investment pool transfer has picked up since we kind of last left off. Let's take a look. We could lower taxes. We want a deficit spend, but we do want to get out of this a little bit, so... We're going to just leave it where it's at. Uh, the, what is it, our credit line, I believe, is expanding faster than our debt, and so we are completely fine running this, and the interest we are paying out to the owners of these buildings, which is going to make them more profitable, uh, which is further going to increase the amount of investment pool transfer that they can give us, or not more profitable, but it's going to make them more money. Okay. And we gotta, yeah, I mean, this is just skyrocketing. We are siphoning off a lot of pops from Russia. Um, so we kind of want to keep the standard of living around here and throttle if it, it starts to kick up. And then, so if it starts to kick up, we'll increase taxes. Uh, if it starts to drop, we'll decrease taxes. And we get steamships, which is going to be important. 
I think, yeah, we already are creating more shipyards in anticipation that this is going to happen, but we're going to switch over to steamships, which unfortunately is going to use more engines. I was going to use the same amount of engines. And we're going to do military shipbuilding. And then we are going to switch over all of our rural areas to using them. And the investment pool grew, and now it's going to shrink. Remember, when you're looking at your balance, you want to do this plus this, but the temporary transfer is really kicking up now. So that's nice. Yeah, we do need to get more pops. We have expanded the military. Our plan, I believe, was to declare war on Argentina, but then we're too buddy-buddy with them. And so we don't want to declare war over here, not because this war wouldn't, a war over here wouldn't be good, but because uh, I don't think we can afford to go to war with someone like Great Xing. You know, our military is not quite that big, and almost everyone has an interest in this region. And so, I suppose we could save, declare the war, see how it goes, and then do something like that, but um, we'll avoid doing that now for now. I think that maybe we could turn up the construction. No, we already got that pretty well dialed in. I don't want to increase the price of labor anywhere, if I can avoid it, so what we will do, but standard living is raising, so I was thinking of... Maybe we lower this to make standard living raise. We aren't going to get to a higher government tier from the plus five legitimacy we would get from dropping this. And so I think we'll just keep this here and, you know, dig out of this a little bit and then look to slowly increase construction uh, once we get to maybe a quarter uh, of the credit line. Something like that. Let's see if we can use our diplomacy. Well, all right, we have all of our declare interest out. U.S. maybe is okay to increase. Alright, we don't... Mm, we'll take the manufacturing industry's throughput minus 5%. Somehow last episode we got like minus 50%, which was like catastrophic for us. But, yeah, so you just can't employ the engines. You need more engines. And these engines just, like, it won't employ. Um, we could increase the throughput bonus by just building more which is going to make it more likely to employ but uh, we're nowhere near the 51 cap so you know quite a bit of pain actually election results are in the free trade party barely wins and so their cloud has decreased considerably. We are going to stop suppressing them. We're going to start suppressing the Social Democratic Party. Because we are trying to get... We're really trying to get the petite bourgeoisie above 10 and also make them happy. We want to put them in government so we can go elected bureaucrats, which is going to make the equilibrium a lot easier. We're currently waiting on the death. Ah, oh, they did die. Okay, so for a long time we were waiting on the death of the industrialists. Uh interest leader because they oppose racial segregation which was kind of a law that we want to go down that path so now what we can do is we can reform the government we can take the liberal party out put the petite bourgeoisie in this is not really the most acceptable government but we can try and pass some laws here and then maybe switch up the government again at some point i think we are going to have to come off monarchy to parliamentary republic maybe we should do this first it's going to radicalize a couple groups. The petite bourgeoisie really don't like it, which is unfortunate because we are, you know, making use of their bonus in terms of our increased, oh, fuck, uh, increased uh, uh, bureaucratic, uh, I'd like tweaked my shoulder and I just put a bunch of weight on it, like readjusting my seat. Um, but yeah, so I think I like, wow, we could even go council republic. I mean, we're not going to, but I think we go parliamentary for the plus one government size allowance. Uh, because we are trying to have a really balanced and not polarized uh, interest groups, like we're trying to have a whole bunch at 18%, we are going to want to have multiple ones in the government. Um, this will decrease the authority we have by a pretty big amount, but what we can do is we can get rid of a consumption tax, maybe? If we go monarchy to parliamentary republic, a lot of people like this. The petite bourgeoisie do not, but we are planning on, after immediately after this, passing you know, going to racial segregation, which the petite bourgeoisie will like, and this will also pass pretty quick. So let's go parliamentary republic. 
I really do like the authority, but we are suffering from the needing the head of state and government in order to be legitimate, and the fact that the head of state is not from the group we want. We could go parliamentary, or we could do this, but the government ideology penalty I don't think is going to be, I don't think we want to suffer that. I think we want the parliamentary republic, so let's go for it. Um... And a lot of people get mad at us. And a bunch of stuff deactivates. Armed forces are... Well, I'm glad we've been suppressing them. Maybe we should continue suppressing the armed forces, because they are radicalizing now. But this is fine, I think, for now. Uh, trade unions become happy with us, which is actually a pretty big deal, because uh, the solidarity bonus and the industrial organizers bonuses are huge, especially considering they are powerful uh, as an interest group. So this is going to be very nice for us. We do have a nihilist here. So that's what they swapped over to. They want to join the Free Trade Party, so once we put them both in government together, it's going to be just the two of them. Well, I don't think we want to do that quite, quite yet, though, because we do want to get... We do want to make use of uh, the intelligentsia for passing Parliamentary Republic. Uh, and so we don't want to swap them out of government yet. We are getting a lot of construction finishing. Let us play a quick game of whack-a-mole. And check. You're pretty close to needing it, so we'll just put some there. We're already constructing one there, but... We're gonna need quite a bit. I think we were making dyes here. As our um, primary crop. We are going to get booted out of this market pretty soon. So we do want to make sure we have everything we need to function pretty well on our own. Which is going to include paper. Uh, we are taking care to try and have the industries spread out. Or at least like all of our clothes are here. All of our paper is here. And this is because this will maximize our throughput bonus from economies of scale. We're continuing to make money. I think what we might do, we have a bunch of, like, the armed forces are just barely angry at us. And I think we're not paying them. Oh, we are paying them max wage. Okay. We could decrease taxes here. I kind of like where the standard of living is at currently, so we don't want to do that quite yet. We do want to build some government admins, though. Because we lost middle managers, and so we're now running 5% tax waste. See, how is this? Yeah, we just have a much larger investment pool transfer. A lot of our buildings are a lot more profitable because the trade unionists are now at least plus 10 happy with us. Uh, they are not going to like this shift. Or they're moderate, so they might be okay with the shift to uh, ethno state or in that direction. Let's take a look. We are still cordial with them. I wish we weren't, so we could start a fight with them. Oh, we did declare an interest over here, so why don't we just conquer, like, Bahrain, do something like this. Oh, I guess we should have checked. We didn't even check their diplomatic stuff, but we just want to conquer them. We know oil will appear here eventually. This will be quite nice for us at some point. We can keep it unincorporated, you know, build some tobacco plantations, something like this. And we should be able to land them with just this, so that'll be good. Um... And hopefully they don't get anyone too big on their side. There are some big countries over here. Uh, notably the UK and Russia. Ooh, Russia. Alright, so this changes things pretty dramatically. Do we have a stronger military than them? They have 726 and we have 720. So... We are going to need to expand the military pretty quick here, I think. And pray that uh, Russia does not help out as well. Although I thought Kebab joining is actually kind of a bit of a good thing, because I think that means Russia doesn't join. So 
I think we want to also set more demands from the kebab. And I think we want to take a state and release Iraq. So we can puppet Iraq later. So, um... We also want to maintain a little bit to maybe sway someone. I don't, there's no one we can sway currently, but if things change a little bit... Alright, let's take a look at our infamy right now. It's just 3.4, so we can take or We can do 21.6 more before we get into a new bracket and things will change dramatically. Uh, luckily, people don't seem to care that much. We could go after Trabazon and Ankara. Ankara... There's a lot more infamy, so it's probably better. That will help us. We could do Cotton and Ankara. So here we have Iron Mines and some Logging Camps, and here we just have Logging Camps. And I'm guessing the main reason Ankara is expensive is... So we could do... We don't currently have coal, I don't think. Or we have coal, but in overseas territories. And I wouldn't mind getting some more coal, so we could even go cast him on new. Um, which just has the Arts Academy, so Trabazon, Castamon in. And hopefully... Can we do that for under 21? Just Trabazon, Castamon in. So this will take us into the next tier. Let's do Trabazon. And then... Liberate Iraq. And then we can afford just under 12. I mean, we could just hope that it works out okay. We could add this at the very end before the next sway tick, and then we'll just load if someone else joins against us. That's the main thing we are concerned about with going to the next infamy level, is someone deciding, hey, that's too much, we gotta help out uh, Kebab in this war. We actually do want to mobilize all of our generals, though. And then... Caucus's HQ will need to... promote. And then let's see if we can recruit a general in the Caucasus as well. Mm, we don't have any from IGs that we want to help promote, so we are going to avoid doing that for now. But we eventually will want another one, and we will probably look to take care of the Ottomans and then take care of Bahrain in terms of how we're going to do this war. We unlock Steam Donkey everywhere. So that is going to be nice, because that is going to make labor a little bit cheaper. Hopefully, things start to balance out. I know we've been running shortages in a bunch of places, but they're not, like, tremendous shortages. Hopefully, this place starts to employ a little bit more, or employs enough to make our boom booms kind of work out. Revolution. You will only go to 55, so we can afford to take this. Ooh, we gotta reload. Because we are gonna add the last war goal. Damn. Okay. My bad. Was not paying close enough attention there. Plan was always to add it tr right at the very end and um, look to do that. So let's do that. Did it really? Gotta load the second one. Tragic. Um, I've been thinking of doing the runs on Iron Man. If anyone would really enjoy Iron Man a whole lot more, uh, feel free to let me know. It would cause me to play slower. I'm already playing fairly carefully where I'm not, tr where I'm trying never to reload for like reasons related to uh, misplaying, but
We even might want to puppet one of the other people. Or... No, no, we're going to add... Kastamadu. I'm just going to add it now so we don't forget, even though we kind of wanted to add it a little bit later. This kicks us up to Infamous, so it increases the odds someone else will be swayed onto their side. Uh, if someone else gets swayed onto their side, we will um, not be such greedy. I really wish we would kind of have a better idea, or like it was more transparent, uh, if we were going to get that sort of situation, but it's really not as transparent as I would like. Um, we might even have to build more military out during this war. I'm going to take a look at... or Yeah, so this doesn't look good currently. Uh, we are recruiting right now, but... Um, I don't think it's quite enough. The Shogunate starts improving relations, which may be not what we want, because we actually do want to fight them to open their market, but we are already damaging relations. This is starting to go in our favor a little bit. Hopefully we win these battles, even if we're ticking slowly. So let's take a look at the battle. Oh uh, yeah, we have way more defense. We have better PMs. This is looking good. If it starts to look really good, we'll even try and land, land Eastern Thrace. Uh, disease among the wounded. Uh, we'll take the mortality in Armenia. Socialist demagogue. Okay. This may be... We, uh, I kind of don't want radicals in our government. Uh, as an IG, like generally speaking. Oh, he's a communist. We can, we can take it a communist. We're okay with that. Alright, yep. So, our military is ramping up. And as it does, we're starting to get advantage here. And it looks like we're going to be able to win these battles. So, that'll be good for us. And we can always land at the capital to make them capitulate faster. We're making a ton of money. How's our standard of living? It's holding kind of steady. So, we might want to decrease taxes here. Or we could up construction just a little bit. Well, let's up construction a hair. Oh, we do not have the queue fully filled, which is part of the reason why it's like this. So let's make sure we have rails. Let's build one there. We'll need it at some point. We'll also need one in Sakhalin, I think. Because I don't think... Actually... Let's not build one in Sakhalin. Alright, we gotta get out of this uh, lens to do this. But instead, what we can do is we can turn on Industrial Port. Which will increase the infrastructure when we need it. Because we are going to break free from Russia soon here. Like, real soon. Uncomfortably soon, actually. So I think we need to expand the arms industries a little bit to actually be able to support. Let's go repeating rifles as well. Uh, and then for our navy bases, Ooh, uh, we didn't swap over to ironclad when we kind of needed to. Let's swap over now, and uh, we'll just defend the coast and look to push all natural. Hopefully, we get lucky on this tick of parliamentary republic. Do have a lot of people trying to preserve monarchy. We could switch back to monarchy at a certain point in time. I don't hate the PM. This is the most neutral looking uh, invasion color I've ever seen because it's almost the same as the Ottomans. Popular playwright endorses reforms. So, I think we take, I, did, I don't think we quite need the prestige anymore because I think we're gonna be a great power once we're released. So let's just take an Ackman chance. Yeah. Maybe we're supposed to take the prestige there, but I think we're fine not taking it. This is expanding fast enough that, uh, oh, it's this little split thing. Okay, fair enough. We are just cruising right through them, though, so more than happy to continue this. 
We are we are getting kind of sloppy about it, keeping our construction up because we're so focused on other things. Let's expand the railways a little bit. We don't need it quite yet, but we will. And these are really profitable. They are employing. We really want to turn the boom booms on everywhere, so we're gonna just add ten to increase the throughput bonus, and then we're gonna start turning on dynamite everywhere. So we've been trying to get those turned on for like forever. And then this is mainly we're we're mainly building more for a throughput bonus. We'll actually build one less, but it's kind of where we are with that. We don't want to be running a shortage of paper. That's pretty key to avoid uh, when we get released. So we'll just Oops. actually we don't want the rail here. I think we're gonna get booted soon. We are going to be turning on ports, so we don't want the rails there at all, really. What did we just get? We got the thing for iron, right? Steel. Open hearth. Very nice. We had been having problems with steel, so this should help out quite a bit. Also, it was, I think, a tier 3 tech. Pump jacks is going to be big. Ish. Um... It would send us on our way. What bonuses are we getting for research? We are getting the industrialist and intelligentsia bonus. Um, so, also the the lesser military bonus. We kind of are actually using a military now, so we care a little bit about this stuff, but probably not enough. I'm not sure exactly when they swapped it, but having the steamships and ironclad and, uh, oh no, it's still not in the same thing. Like, one of these gives, like, what does this give? Which one gives the port? Maybe this does give the port. I forget. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, just double checking we're recording. We do want political agitation. So let's go that. Malaria prevention is not spreading, which is nice. How close are the Ottomans to uh, wanting to give us what we want? Really not close at all. Okay, fair enough. How strong is their navy? If their navy is relatively strong, we won't even try landing them, actually. We have a projection of 250, we have a projection of 100, so we will not try landing them. I think we just go with Armenia versus Arizona. So. Our GDP is now surpassing Russia, so I guess maybe Monday we get booted? No, we didn't get booted, so maybe it's something else. Maybe we can't be booted when we're protectorate. I'm not sure what exactly provokes the booting. Electricity having problems. The classic. Let's try and increase our economy, our throughput bonus from economies of scale then. Just kind of very uncomfortable how this is working, where I just can't get the workers even though there are shortages. It's going to be really hard, a lot harder to get migration once we get booted from Russia's market. We'd rather stay in their market, but I'm just preparing for when we're no longer in their market. Conquered all the, the territories. Oh, we haven't conquered what we've demanded over here. 
but we should be able to just push through into the capital on land here. Uh, it's not a battle that's going our way. Have they switched PMs? Maybe they have better PMs now. We're really making more money than we'd like. This has been a little stagnant for a while, but it is going up slowly, so we could... Could, could, could decrease this. We could also just get rid of this consumption tax. Right? And then... Suppress them, for example. To try and bring up the petite bourgeoisie more. Been having trouble with that. There's... They... They don't really have a space in government or anything like that, or a lot of employment, and so getting them kind of up there has been difficult. We're gotta expand the queue. Since I started paying a little bit more attention to, uh, I think maybe we want silk. No, this is not even employing that well. We will just up it by five anyways, just in case we're gonna need the silk uh, once we get booted from the market. So we will not be importing from them anymore. We are really going to need a ton of iron, though. So why don't we do something like this? And then we will turn on the industrial port in Sakhalin. Because we are going to need the infrastructure once the building's finished. We, of course, can't be in the lens when we click on it. Otherwise, problems. So we will turn on the industrial port. To handle the infrastructure. Which will give convoys to the Russia. But, um, that's fine. I'm not sure if... I'm pretty sure we will not delete this Arts Academy, but we just won't expand it. We're getting some Tabula Rasa territories, which I like more than just, like, when they have just, like, two of everything or whatever. We are running a little bit of a deficit now, which is what we want. We are going to need a lot more government uh, administration in order to integrate all this, so let's do some of this as well. should be good which of course will cost us a lot of money yeah so now we're we're doing okay because we're effectively making 50k because it's this plus this bulgarians are migrating that's nice welcome to our abode Starting to stall out a little bit here. They might have switched the PMs. Let's see who's spending more on this war. They are. Credit where credit's due. All right, well, we will probably credit the trade unions because we can actually uh, suppress them by hand because they're not in the government. Hoping that this parliamentary republic goes through. Yeah, this isn't ideal though. The stalling out that's kind of occurring here. Radicals are going up. Loyalists are coming down. So we could decrease taxes as well. This would also kick us up into the next tier of contested government, which will help get it. Yeah, so I like this because it actually changes how much radicals we are accruing from this. And of course, we're losing a ton of money, but this is fine. Uh, the investment pool is growing quite a bit. Uh, once it switches to stuff we can tra investment pool transfer to, you know, it will drain and we'll make money. Um... What are we going to need a lot more of? I guess we want to make sure we have an... Oh, we're going to need tools. We're going to need a hell of tools. We're just going to add, like, ten. And uh, also add some infrastructure at the start. Alright, this should be fine. Grassroots support for law. Unfortunate we don't get it through. I think we'll take the loyalists. We already have a pretty good enactment chance of 57%. And, uh... 
bumping up the loyalists is always nice because we're trying to get a ton of interest group approval which we've we're kind of caring about more than we have before we have a ton of groups that are plus 20 happy with us though that is wild that they capitulated despite not being occupied at all i don't I have no idea why they did that this tooling workshop is currently employing almost no one and so the question is, is do we want to incorporate them here? I think the answer is no, so we'll just delete this now while it has very little employment. And we will kind of just let them... Well, I guess we're going to use them to employ on the ports or something. This is not very useful until oil gets discovered there, but then it'll be very useful. And we actually don't want it incorporated, so we get the 10% throughput bonus from being unincorporated, at least on the oil place, so that'll be nice. Our deficit spending here, but we should be fine. Let's just double check that we haven't been booted. We're not booted out of the Russian market, and let's take a look here. I think our economy is bigger than Russia's at this point, so I'm not sure what exactly provokes the booting. Maybe, oh, it's, we're not bigger. Maybe we have to be bigger for an extended period of time? I'm not sure exactly how this mechanic works. We do have a pop of 10 mil, which is growing nicely, because we're just siphoning off pops. So Russia will be very weak once we leave their market. I think I'd rather have this guy be here and these two be here, but swapping them both over is would just cause problems, so we won't do that. We get more investment pool for that, so we will up it. And I guess we will up home affairs as well. Starting to get this up there. We've been having we're trying to get it close to 18, but we've just been struggling so much. We should be able to put guys in government a little bit better once we get that passed. And now we are getting this through. Colonization of Collabs completed. I think we want to try and get in on Africa. If we, oh, we can't even get in on Africa, can we, here? Let's take a look at our established node. Can we declare interest here? Alright, let's declare interest down here. We want to start getting in on this, uh, on the Congo. We, of course, are much slower. We might be able to get in on the Congo. We can, uh, we have to hopefully get in, in here on Hero. Of course, we can conquer South Africa or something to try and push up through here. And Russia gets this territory, which is not usual. So we will try in both areas to push in. And we will not finish colonizing down here all this territory because we're just going to end up taking it from Argentina and Peru anyways. I think is the plan. Now that we have the capital, we can tick down on the kebab. Which this is going to give us a good amount of pops as well. I think the main reason this was expensive in terms of taking it was, yeah, you have population 1.3 mil versus, you know, it's calculated based on population. And if they are... Uh, Big or not, or if they're like westernized, whatever the term is, I forget what it is, recognized. Yeah, but we really gotta get the tools up quite a bit. And we are gonna have problems with the wood. Man, I really wish that this would just employ. Uh, luckily, we, they should migrate from here to here. We will incorporate these territories, which is why we overbuilt a lot of this. Now, of course, we're going to run a bureaucratic deficit, but we're going to build it up a little bit here. And now we're sitting a little pretty. Pretty big looking Armenia here. We are still trying to be prepared for getting booted out of their market, because I do think we will get booted out of their market. I just don't know exactly. Come on, we'll switch to this view. 
And we will set those on auto expand. We will do the same here. Now we luckily have a lot of iron. Let's go and make sure our PMs are all good where we want them. Are we getting enough? We're not getting anywhere near enough rubber, I don't think. Let's just check our market, because it is all about... Yeah, so nowhere near that. Um, and I don't think we can... Oh, we can expand rubber. So that is nice. We can also declare another war here. I think that we are... Okay, we actually could declare another war and have it be pretty good. So we kind of want to look around for that. Uh, they're immediately in the Austrians market, <laughs> Iraq. That's kind of funny. Uh, we do want to, like, eventually conquer Iraq. But I think that we have a border with the Trugal states. Going after Trugal states seems pretty good. And we just hope that Great Britain does, and Austria don't stick their finger in our pie. Well, let's look at... Well, Austria is having problems, so they're not going to. But we can probably cheekily just take the Trucal states now. Yeah, they're domineering. But they do not have an interest in the region. And I don't think Great Britain will help. Because they're cordial and genial. This border is very nice for kind of working out our way here. That is a revolt. Could help the Ottomans. And Russia is even likely to back the revolt. If the revolt succeeds, we will not have a truce with the Ottomans, so we can take even more land from them. Politician died. Kind of an irrelevant politician, because they are nowhere near having enough clout. We don't want to suppress them underneath, uh, or too, too low. We actually want to long-term bolster these guys a little bit. But we do, we would love to suppress these down into nothingness, so let's do that. Gonna about to take another tick of Parliamentary Republic. Hopefully that goes well. Let's take a look at how long we've been going. 42 minutes. Okay. Considering there's a rev here, well... I think Trugal States just backs down here, right? Ooh, they do have the 15 gold reserves. They will back down, likely. They can't get help. If we get help from Great Britain, we'll be in for a weird, rough time. We are burning money right now, but that's okay. I think we swapped over all our PMs. Let's double check, actually. Let's switch that to publicly traded. We do want to have covered markets everywhere with electric streetlights. I know that... We're having trouble employing on these, but... We do want photographic art, and I think we want independent artists for the academics. Rather than aristocrats and other guys, but ah, our PMs are here and not what we want. Maybe if we have enough unemployment in some of these places, we can build up... You know, we've really been wanting to <laughs> have power plants that are actually productive. And it looks like there's a ton of peasants in Trabizon, so why don't we just do some of this action as well. Which Trabizon's going to need uh, infrastructure for that as well. I 
think just one will be fine. We'll add a port, kind of getting ready to transition. It's also nice that we've gotten some of these because we are going to need a whole bunch of ports once we get booted. Um, looks like they do just capitulate here. Russia's market's huge, man. Uh, interestingly, though, they're going to lose adjacency once they are once they lose control of us because we are giving the adjacency into Egypt. So Egypt might not be so keen on it. Uh, let's take a look at Argentina. We have too good of relations. Panama has already been... kind of want to conquer Panama, though. Uh, which would be nice just because the Panama... Well, actually, we don't really need the Panama Canal. We're not... We're sending trade through there anyways, but this canal would be nice. Hmm. So, try to think of a war that would be nice for us. I mean, we could go after Kutai now. I think that this makes more sense now. Great Britain is colonizing Papua, that's a little annoying. I don't want to fight the Dutch East Indies. Not that I don't think I can win that, but or it, it's that it just won't be a super profitable easy war, so... You know, it's just not uh, worth it, I don't think. Oh, this is all part of the same thing. So we could make them specialize in tobacco production. There's some unused arable land. Just delete all the livestock and rebuild his tobacco. How's the employment in the livestock? It's pretty good. God, level 12 level port. Why does the AI do this? They just build the ports into infinite and then set them on anchorages. And it's just bad. Um, are we okay with... Yeah, we're okay with nuking them a little bit. The trade unions are strong, but we're suppressing the trade unions. Man, how are we still in there? Are we... So we're... 12 million ahead of them in terms of GDP, and we're still inside their market, so maybe we have to actually declare independence from them all natural, which I don't want independence from them at this point, because a huge part of why they're useful is they're giving us an ingress into Great Xing, uh, an adjacency, if you will. But I would be keen on taking Beijing, which would give us an adjacency if we incorporate it. Parliamentary Republic did not pass. That's why we got that event. Territorial Bantu migration. We Our pop is absolutely exploding right now. Oh, that's because we conquered territory. Yeah, that checks out. Standard living did drop, so we can actually take this down a notch. To help coax standard of living back up. Which will we'll deal with a lot of these new radicals as well. Having some trouble pushing through uh, this law, anyways. You could maybe expand construction, though, instead. I actually think I like that. So instead, we're going to build up a little bit of construction in the newly conquered territories, which will give them jobs, which will make them happy. And we want to be increasing construction anyways. We'd probably be a little bit more aggressive about it if our um, run objective was a very large one. Again, we were looking for wars we could declare that were productive. 
So Nej just well, let's damage relations with them. Right, because we were thinking of going after Kutai, but we couldn't. Maybe Touch East Indies won't join here. Let's try it. Let's mobilize this guy. Let's see if this creeps back up after building those construction centers. Because a big part of it being low is just there not being jobs available in these areas. But we're about to make a whole bunch of jobs here. Now, are you employed? Yeah, you are. employment here. Spain sides with Banjar. That is not what we were hoping for. This is now turned into a very messy war. Oh, they abandoned Banjar. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. It's no longer a messy war. They should back down with this minus 75. Very nice. Oh, and we have a ton of rubber here. This is perfect. Uh, they do have ports, so we can turn those on. How's the infrastructure? We're using nine of seven. But once we turn these ports on, we'll have a whole bunch. So why don't we do that? And then we're gonna have enough rubber here. actually going to kick it to the front of the queue to turn on the rubber in our uh, I think in total we will have enough rubber in the market to turn on this which we have been holding off on for forever which right now it makes no money because there's not enough rubber in the market but we're hoping we put enough rubber in the market uh, let's put those on first let's do this first though will want to declare another war. Now, Kutai was a little bit more attractive. Alright, we gotta get less than seven with whatever war we declare. Kutai's a little bit more attractive because we're adjacent now. Now, we're not adjacent to this because that's just mountain, which is deceptive on the map. Kinda still don't want to fight the Dutch East Indies, so we'll try and avoid doing that if we can. We could have to go after like Zulu, with the idea of eventually going Transvaal if we can't snake our way into uh, the the Congo scene. Do we not have a diplomatic interest here? I thought we had one. We do have one. Why can't we declare on them? They must be a subject of someone with whom we... Yeah, they are a subject of Great Britain. So, that's not going to happen. Um, could try and... No, we can't snake in through there. Morocco's too big. We can't just annex them. Don't want to puppet Morocco, I don't think. We'd love to puppet Iraq. Hmm. Venezuela wouldn't be terrible to go after. I mean, we could go after Costa Rica with the idea of having a front with Colombia later, which was something that would be kind of useful. And we would... 
I don't think I like how many people have an interest in the region, though. We could just sit around and not declare a war. This is also fine. We're not, like, in a rush to do anything in particular that is war required. We could puppet Oman. Oh, can't, because Russia has an interest in this region. Big Sag. Yeah, there just aren't, uh, very good spots here for us. We could have just expel diplomats. The Shogunate, for kind of a long-term play, we just take 10 infamy, but we're just kind of okay with that. Let's just let our infamy decay, actually. We'll have options, uh, in the future, I think. Like, it looks like this Turkish aristocratic revolt's actually gonna win, and then we can go after Ankara, right? And so this seems fine, too. Colonial affairs goes up. Let's take a look at our institutions in general, because we do- we are running a lot of bureaucracy. Um... Don't know how keen I am on that as a use, but we do have the extra, so... Might build dies here. Definitely deficit spending a little bit, kind of where we want to be. The investment pool is shrinking though. Not too fast. Um, hmm, I'm just having a think. Plus 30 per level. We do get the Communist Party, so we're gonna have an election coming up soon in a sec. Should also have reshuffled uh, who wants to join what parties. So we're making like three to four hundred ish rubber. So I think we can turn on elastics. And let's take a look at our political situation now. Are a contested government. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Parliamentary Republic before this election, but it's fine, I think. We are still inside Russia's market, despite being 10 million above them, so this is not what provokes them. But we are protectorate, so it might be that the protectorate relation can't be broken, but the being inside a market relationship can. Uh, and I'm not too keen on getting out at this juncture. I think we do pay them money, but... Well, maybe we should get out. Sand living's kind of stalled a little bit. Which is fine. Keen on these finishing. That's gonna be great when they do. Let's see, what else is there? you not fully employing. It's just... I think game adjustments have just made it so that they're slow to adjust here. But, uh, man, their standard living should be really high for those individual pops. Which is kind of why maybe we're having a huge, big problem with these shortages. Yeah, we are the link, though, right through here. Oh, no, wait, I guess... He has a link over into Egypt through these. Interesting.
interesting. Literacy is pretty high. Let's see if we can raise it a little bit more. Let's take a look here. Are we having qualifications problems? No, 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 no. Okay, so let's just keep building more in the capital on that front. Right, we couldn't do more than that, though. And this should be the new Ottoman Empire, whom we don't have a truce with. We could puppet them, that would be kind of a wild play. Uh, we could take Hudvigar, or however this is pronounced. Which would kind of cut them in half. It's gonna give us 14 infamy if we do. That's a lot of great powers in that. In there. I don't think we do that. Russia has agreement with them. Defensive pact or whatever. Are just running. Just can't employ. Despite there being a shortage of energy, it's kind of annoying. It's very frustrating. I mean, we could turn off the PMs, but we want the PMs to create the demand. I suppose next up we could do is coal power. No, we have steam turbine here, so we could go pump jack steam turbine to get them a better PM to hopefully make them employ. This seems reasonable. Um, we're going to take one more tick of Parliamentary Republic, and then we're going to call it a day, I think. Also see where how this election goes. Projected votes. It looks like the trade unionists might win here, which we're okay with. Um, actually, close elections, which is nice, because we're trying to keep everyone at like the same clout level. Uh... Let's stop suppressing them and start suppressing these guys instead. These guys will get completely ousted. We will then probably bolster the rural folk at some point in the near future. Especially if the tr industrialists start to get too low. Oh, but the problem is, is we'll have to put these guys in the government, so we can't suppress them anymore. That's going to be a little obnoxious. I don't know how we're going to manage that exactly. Boost our industries further, as always. Really don't know what they what update they changed to make it so that you this is red when it should not be red. Oh no, this should be red. We just are hemorrhaging money. That's fine for now. Paying a lot in subsidies. Can expand some rural stuff a little bit to decrease that. That's not our territory. In Klebs, I think we... Yeah. Could try and get this closer to 51 or whatever. How much infrastructure you run in here? So you could support 8 more. But we could turn this on. And then you'll be able to support all ten of those. <sighs> yeah, if Russia didn't have an, a, a uh, interest there. Ooh, Russia's protective of us now. So we can actually, we can go clap some cheeks here. I just don't think we have the infamy, um, room to, uh, take, like, Ankara or whatever. Alright, the Social Democratic Party wins, and I think that we might do this comp...
We do want the petite bourgeoisie approval. But that's a pretty big malice, 20%. But we want the pop attraction. We're gonna take this. Hope we roll well. We roll okay, but Parliamentary Republic might stall out here. And so what... How can we make the government... We cannot confirm this, because they need to be in the Free Trade Party. But they would be in the Free Trade Party. Why can't we confirm it? So this is the government that's most, uh... Whatever. Of course, we cannot... We can no longer suppress the trade unionists, but this will help us get through the Parliamentary Republic for the time being. And then I guess we bolster them, or we do consumption tax. How much can we make off services? Pretty good amount. Luxury clothes plus tea might be better, though. It's not as much money, but it will be um, more progressive. A tax system. And so, yeah. Uh, this episode, we took some dirt from the Ottomans. And we are getting ready to get out of Russia's market. Uh, we will probably be trying to find a war that is relatively productive uh, in the near future. And we are also, yeah, we're just prepping to get out of their market uh, for the most part here. And we will continue to do that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. You know, do the YouTube algorithm stuff. And have a good day.